Hi students. Today's topic is class 12 current electricity part 3.4. Right? In the current electricity already 3 lectures completed. Now it is 3.4. And now the today's topic is series combination of resistors. And uh, we are going to find out the effective resistance in series combination. This topic already you learned in the 10th class also. Right? It was very easy topic. And look at here. This is the, these are the resistors. I am taking the 3 resistors. 1, 2, 3. And these are connected in series combination. Series means end to end. One end of the first resistor connected to the next end of the next resistor and so on. And this is the series combination. In series combination, these three resistors combinedly if they will act as one resistor, then what is its resistance? That I am going to find out. Look at here. RS formula I am going to find out. These three resistors combinedly act as one resistor. Then what is its resistance? Right? And for that, in series combination, right, we are connecting these three resistors in one line and connected to the battery. Then from the battery post terminal current will start, that current will flash, passes through each resistor, right? Current passes through the resistor. And now, the same current passes through the each resistor. Why? Because there is no splitting of current. Okay, one way, only one way is there. How many electrons passing through first resistor? That many electrons passes through the second resistor. That many electrons passes through the third resistor. That's why well. charge is same and current also same. In series combination, same current flows. But the potential divides. Potential is what? Work done to move unit positive charge. Here, if opposition is more, then more work should be done to move the positive charge. Then here if opposition is less, then the less work should be done. That means based on the resistor, the potential will divides. But in series combination, current constant, potential divides. How to find out the effective resistance in series combination? Let us see. Okay. And it was very simple. Okay. Now, first from the figure. Total potential is V. Battery potential is V that is divided across the three resistors V1, V2, V3. Then from figure we write V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 we write. Okay. Now this total potential divided across three resistors. Now what is the potential across first resistor? Potential across first resistor. And now potential difference across first resistor how to find out it yes that is v1 its formula is current into resistance according to ohms law ir1 we write and potential difference across second resistor we write, we want across second resistor right and second resistor resistance is what potential difference across second resistor is v2 its resistance is r2 then v2 is equal to ir2 similarly potential difference across Third resistor, right? It was very simple. That is, third resistor is V3 is equal to I into R3 we have to write. Okay? If these three resistors act as one resistor, okay? These three resistors act as one resistor. Its resistance I am considering as RS. If RS is the effective resistance, if RS is the effective R, effective means total. Right? Equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance. In which combination? Resistance in series combination. Right? We are discussing the series combination. Then, the total resistance is RS. The total current which is extracted from the battery is I. And the total voltage is V. Then we write V equal to IRS. Right? Then we can write one thing that V is equal to IRS. If you write that one, then V is equal, what you will get tell me? I into RS. R suffix S. What is R suffix S? Effective resistance in series combination. Okay? And now, substitute V1, comma V2, comma V3 and V in equation 1. Now, we will get equation 1. V is 
IRS. V1 is IR1. V2 is IR2. V3 is IR3. Right? V IRS. V is the total voltage. Total voltage, total current, total resistance. Right? Okay. And now I is common on the right side. Right? Then R1 plus R2 plus R3 we will get. This I will cancel. Then we will get RS is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. This is the formula to find out the effective resistance in series combination. In order to find the effective resistance in series combination, total resistance in series combination, just we have to add the individual resistances. That is RS is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. It was very simple. Right? And now, if N resistors are connected in series combination, if N resistors are connected in series, are connected in series, then effective resistance what happens? Then effective resistance what happens? Okay? And that is RS is equal to here R1 first resistance plus R2 and plus and so on Rn. This is the effect resistance in series combination. When N resistors of resistances R1, R2 and so on Rn are connected in series. Okay. And now here R1, what are R2 and so on Rn are what? Resistances. Okay resistances of n resistors right and now one more thing we will discuss okay the one more thing is that it was very simple if n identical resistors are connected in a series then what happens okay if n identical resistors if n identical resistors identical resistors each of resistance each of resistance capital r are connected in series then their effective resistance I want to find out. Their effective resistance. How to find out the effective resistance? Okay, it was very simple. How many resistors we are connecting in series? N resistors. Okay, and all the resistors have the same resistance. All are identical, right? Each resistance is capital R. Now, what is the effective resistance? Okay, clear up this. Take the screenshot and note it. And if you have any problem, right, you can consult me, you can contact me in WhatsApp, right, or by the mail, or you can comment in the YouTube box also, right. Now, let us see. How to find out the effective resistance. Here n identical resistance, each of resistance R, that means R1 is R, R2 is R, R3 is R, all the resistors have the same resistance, that is R, right? All the resistors have the same resistance. Then what is the effective resistance in series combination? That what you will get the effective resistance? Effective resistance. R1 is R, R2 is R, R3 is R, right? Effective resistance in series we will get like this that is RS is equal to R1 is R R plus R plus R plus and we have to add all right R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on Rn. Now we have to substitute all values in this R plus R plus R plus R. All are identical that's why. And here what you will get only two resistors are there means R plus R2 R. 3R there means R plus R plus R, 3R, NR there, that's well N terms, you will get the NR, right? This is the effect resistance in series combination. If you want to get the more resistance in series combination, we have to connect, right? 
and now the effect resistance in series combination effect to resistance in series combination effect to resistance in series combination is greater than any one individual resistance right any on individual resistance if you take the resistances here rs is the effect resistance it may be greater than r1 or rs is greater than r2 or rs is greater than r3 right and effective resistance is greater than the individual resistances okay for example here you see this is 1 ohm and this is 2 ohm and this is 3 ohm right if these are connected in series okay like this what is the effect resistance in series combination we have to add them r1 plus r2 plus r3 1 plus 2 plus this is r1 and this is r2 and this is r3 what is rs r1 plus r2 plus r3 what you will get here 1 plus 2 plus 3 3 plus 3 6 ohm we will get effect resistance we are getting 6 ohm right this 6 is rs this rs is greater than r1 rs is greater than r2 rs is greater than r3 that means in series combination to find out the effect resistance we are adding in in adding you will get more resistance more value right in series combination you will get the more resistance maximum resistance if you want the more resistance in the combination then you have to connect the resistors in series combination and let us see one note point i will give the note okay in the series combination i want the ratio of currents through each resistor right ratio of currents ratio of currents through each resistor right what is the ratio of currents through each resistor current means i1 east i2 east i3 right what is the ratio of currents through each resistor i want to find out okay but here what is the formula current is constant in the series combination you know already yes you know in the series combination current constant means same current pass through each resistor same current means i1 is i i2 is i i3 is i that means the ratio what you will get one east one east one and so on why because the same current same current means i i i in the ratio they will cancel we will get one east one east one okay and the ratio of potential difference across each resistor ratio of potential difference across each resistor right what is the ratio of potential difference across each resistor we know v is equal to ir formula according to ohms law right according to ohms law potential difference according to ohms law potential difference is v equal to ir in this same current flows that means potential difference proportional to resistance right here we write the ratio of potential differences v1 is to v2 is to v3 and so on is equal to r1 is r2 is r3 and so on right this is the ratio of potential differences right and now this is uh, about series combination let's go for the parallel combination okay let us see we are going to discuss the parallel combination of resistors and now in parallel combination all the first ends of resistors connected to one point and all the second end second ends of resistors connected to another point this is parallel combination here the three resistors of resistances r1 r2 and r3 are connected in parallel as shown in this figure right in parallel combination this set is connected to certain battery that battery potential is v let us consider and through this battery some current is extracted for example here oh, 10 electrons are coming that the cur some current is coming at here after coming to this point uh, that current some current passes through first resistor some current passes through second resistor some current passes through third resistor just from here for example from the negative terminal electrons will starts and electrons goes opposite to the direction of flow of 
current. For example, 10 members are coming, walking like this on this road. After coming to this point, then some members will go this side, some members will go this side, some members will go this side. Like this, number of electrons passing distributes uh, divides. That's why the current also divides. You must remember the current divides in series combination, in parallel combination. Current divides in parallel combination. Here the entering current is I. The current entering current is I this, to this point. And after that it will be distributed in three branches. Okay, in each branch, right? Uh, the current in the first branch is I1, second I2, third is I3. And let us see what about the potential difference. Potential difference between these two points, potential difference is measured. Between these, these two points, the potential difference that we are supplying is V. And between these two points, only first register is there. Between these two points, only second register is there. Between these two points, only third register is there. The potential is constant between two points. That is V. That means the potential across first register is V. And the potential across second register is V. Potential across third register is also V. That means in parallel combination, potential constant. Right? It was very simple. Okay, let us start. And now, from the figure, what we can write? Here, the current divides. That's why we write the total entering current here, I. That we write as I1 plus I2 plus I3. Current will splits. Right? And this is equation 1. Now, if D, this is the parallel combination. In parallel combination, if these three resistors act as one resistor, their effective resistance is Rp. That I am going to find out how much effective resistance will be there. These three combinedly act as one resistor means its resistance is how much. That is effective resistance. Let us see here. And now for that, according to Ohm's law, right? From Ohm's law, we can write current through first resistor. Current through the R1. Current through the R1 is I1. I1 formula, according to Ohm's law, we have to write. According to Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R, we write. I1 is V by R1 we have to write. Current through second resistor. Current through second resistor. Current through R2. Current through the R2 is I2. Its formula is V by R2. Right? V by R2. And current through R3 we can write. Current through the resistance R3. What is the current through R3? Here, look at here. Current through R3. Current through R3 is I3. That I3 I want. I3 is equal to what we write? V by R3 we write. Okay? Now, if these three resistors act as one resistance, resistor, right? That resistance is Rp. If Rp is the, Rp is the effective resistance, right? Rp is the effective resistance in which combination in effective resistance or it is also said to be equivalent resistance right equivalent resistance equivalent resistance in which combination in parallel combination r p this one suffix p right in parallel combination Then, according to Ohm's law, current through the total resistance, right? Total current is I, total potential difference is V, total resistance is Rp. Then this is according to Ohm's law, we write here, I is equal to V by R. The <coughs> now, we have to substitute the I1, I2 and I3, I in equation 1. Okay, substitute I1, comma I2, comma I3 and I in equation 1 when we substitute in equation 1 what you will get i is v by rp i1 is v by r1 look at here this i1 i v by rp i1 v by r1 i2 v by r2 i3 v by r3 v is common on the right side then what you will get 1 by r1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. We cancel it here. Then what you will get? 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. This is the formula that we will use to find out the effective resistance in parallel 
combination. If you want to find out the total resistance in parallel combination, this is RP is the total resistance in parallel combination that we can find out by using this formula. Right? And now this is equation 2. Now, if two resistors are connected in, if n resistors are connected next, or if two resistors connected, okay, we can write if n resistors, n resistors, if n resistors of resistances, n resistors of resistances R1, R2, and so on, Rn are connected in series, right? are connected in series then what is their effective resistance right only sorry not it is series we are discussing the parallel right in parallel in parallel then what is the effect resistance how to find out the effect resistance right and now only 3 are there means we write 1 by rp equal 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 if more are there plus sign so on we can write 1 by rn it was very simple right take the screenshot and uh, write the notes okay i'm going to rub Okay, look at here, what I want to find out the effect resistance, right, 1 by Rp is equal to, 1 by Rp is equal to R suffix P, 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus and so on, 1 by Rn. Now the next one point I will tell, if N identical resistors, N identical resistors, N identical resistors, each of resistance, each of resistance, capital R, are connected in, are connected in parallel, in parallel, then their effective resistance, right? Then their effective resistance. What is their effective resistance? Then their effect resistance. What you will get here? If n identical resistors, each of resistance, right? All are identical. First resistance is R1 is R, R2 is R, R2 is R, R3 is R, and so on. Rn is also R. All are identical resistors. All have the same resistance, capital R. Then effect resistance is R suffix P. We write here. Uh, 1 by Rp is equal. We have formula. In this formula, we have to substitute. 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1, 1 by R2, 1 by R3 and so on, 1 by Rn. All are R. And now here these are N terms, right? N terms if you will add, then we will get N by R, right? N into 1 by R. Then we can write the reciprocal equation for this. Rp is equal to what you will get? R by N. Here we are getting the total resistance by dividing with the number of resistance but previously in series combination we are getting the total resistance by multiplying with number of resistors r is equal to nr we got means here we will get more because we are multiplying here we are dividing we will get the less that means if you want to get the less effective resistance then you have to connect the resistors in parallel combination right in parallel combination in parallel combination in parallel combination effective resistance effective resistance is less than any one individual resistance less than any individual resistance okay that means rp is less than R1 or Rp is less than R2 or Rp is less than Rn also we write. Okay? And now let us see some points I will give in the note, right? And what are that points? What is the ratio of currents in the 
parallel combination? What is the ratio of potential differences in the parallel combination? Can you tell? I want the right. I want to write some one point that is in the note, right? And the point is that. Uh, first point is that if two resistors right if two resistors of resistances r1 and r2 are connected in parallel are connected in parallel then their effective resistance right there effective resistance I want then how to find out the effective resistance it was very simple right how to find out the effective resistance then we have the formula 1 by rp is equal to only two resistors are connected 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 if you simplify and do the LCM then we will get rp is r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 what about in series the only two resistors are there means in series just we are adding right and the second point is that the ratio of currents that the ratio of potential difference first we write or the ratio of currents no problem the ratio of current currents through each resistor each resistor in parallel combination right I want the ratio of currents. Current formula is what according to Ohm's law V by R. But in parallel combination V constant. When we remove the constant we will get the proportionality symbol. In the ratio of currents I1 east, I2 east, I3 and so on is equal. What do you get? 1 by R1, 1 by R2, 1 by R3 and so on we will get. This is the ratio of currents. Right. Why we got like this? because V is constant, right? And one more point is that ratio of potential difference, right? The ratio of potential difference across each resistor. What is the ratio of potential difference across each resistor? Potential difference is V1. Potential difference actually constant in the parallel combination, right? Potential difference constant means ratio is same, right? Ratio is 1 is to 1, you will get. V E by V is V is V is V is and so on you will get because potential is same then that will will cancel then we will get 1 is 1 is 1 and so on right Thank you for watching my lectures okay and presently previously we completed the two chapters electric charges and fields and electrostatic potential and capacitance in electric charges and fields I made the 16 lectures 1.1 to 1.16 electrostatic potential and capacitance I made uh, some I think nearly 13 lectures 2.1 uh, to 2.13 uh, okay in the third chapter we started till now we completed the four parts 3.1 to 3.4 follow my lectures regularly in the order because every topic is linked with the previous topics okay thank you for watching my lectures and share to your friends till now if you not subscribe my channel then subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications thank you for watching my lectures